Hey guys, it's Ricky from Narrowway Farm, and I just wanted to show you guys how I cut my rabbit food bill in half. And during the spring, summertime, I can cut it down to more than more than half by feeding stuff from the yard. So let me show you what I've done. So this is how I cut my food bill in half. Um, I get my scoop, and I would actually feed these little J feeders and I would fill it up until the, the food gets to this I would fill it up until the food gets to this top so after doing some measurements I got me a measuring cup and this is what I would do I'd, I'd fill up the J feeder and the, the amount that I was feeding was two cups so I just started using one cup, which was sufficient for my meat rabbit does. So cutting my food in half by going to this measuring cup, I, I can go through one of these instead of two with my ten does. But in the season with things growing, I can cut that food cost down a lot more than half by getting grass, and I'm going to show you how I get my grass. Here you go. Hello. Is this Riley's Supermarket? Yes, this is Riley's Supermarket. How may I help you, sir? I was just wondering if you had some grass in stock? Yes, I have five buckets. It'll be ready in ten minutes. Alright, I'll see you in ten minutes. Bye. Alright, see you then. So I liter literally saved twice as much money by switching to this measuring cup with my nursing does, my pregnant does, um, I up it a little bit more. So how I do it is with my pregnant does, I add another, an extra scoop just on top of it daily. On my nursing does, I'll put two scoops in the morning, two scoops after work when I get home around four or five o'clock so that they get equivalent to four because it's not technically a free feed, but when I come back in increments, um, they still have food left over, so it's basically free feeding, but it's also controlled so that, you know, I'm watching waste and I'm controlling, you know, because I've had where I dump a whole container of food in there and then just scratch at it and it goes all to the floor. So I'm just trying to keep that from happening, and it gets me out here to see my does and my, my kits so that I can fix anything that's going wrong. I've had rabbits that are connected to the mom when the moms jump out of the nest box. I've saved a lot of rabbits doing that. I, I've had moms that just had them on the wire, a surprise birth, and have them on the wire, just checking on the other babies. I just look at the others, and I've saved rabbits from freezing that way. I'm the one who called about the grass and I'm here to pick it up. Okay. Here the five bucks up of the ten dollars. Alright, here's your money. Thanks. Here your rest. Thank you. Yeah. I found it very important for me to save money. Um, to support the hobby to because it costs a lot of money to feed these rabbits. I went from spending $140 for a month and a half to now three months with supplementing with this grass that, that is good for them. Um, you can go a little bit longer and they just get a little bit more nutrition. I'm going to feed this grass to them. So I just throw handfuls in there. The rabbits love it. Um, if I put this in there with their food, they actually go towards the, the greens before they do the pellets. And I just I just give the buckets back to my daughter and, and sometimes she'll get more grass and we'll feed it to the goats. Throw some to the chickens. Um, it's called chick chickweed and, and so it's something that we can eat as humans and rabbits can eat as well and this is I have no idea what this is but rabbits love it
Alright, if this video helped you out, if you enjoyed it, go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And the thing I want you to do most is drop down in the comments what you think and what you want to see next. Until then, we'll see you next time. All right, so I got one extra container left. I'm just gonna feed it to these goats. The mamas, they love it. They go crazy over it.